Hi, my name is Bill Stapleton. I'm the Deputy Principal here at CV High School and today I just wanted to uh, give you a brief, uh, hopefully about 15 minute video which will introduce you to the concept of the parent portal for DayMap. Now DayMap is our learner management system here at CV High School. Uh, what that means is it's used um, every day by students and by um, teachers um, in order to help with their learning. Uh, the parent portal is the version of this which is slightly different to what the students see, but it's where you as parents can see things like attendance, um, look at assessment tasks and grab reports um, that are published each term by the teachers here at the school as well. So in order to get to um, the parent portal, uh, what you need to do is come to our website here of CV High School, www.cvhighschoolhs.sa.edu.au and on the on the front page, if you scroll down, there's a section here entitled DayMap. If you click on DayMap, you can see there's a section here entitled DayMap Parent Portal. So if you've never signed up to the Parent Portal before, um, you'll need to click on this link and this will take you to the login page. Now here on the login page, you won't have a username and a password yet. So what you'll need to do is click on New User. Now if you have been to the Parent Portal before and you've forgotten your password, this is a good point now to click on Forgot Your Password. What you need, obviously, though, is an email address, and this is the one that you would have registered with us at the school uh, when you first enrolled your son or daughter. If at any time that email address that you want to use changes, please contact the front office on 83778000, and they will um, update the details for you, and then we can um, link that to your DayMap account and send you a new login detail for that. But for the moment, if you click on New User, It'll take you to this page. This will be where you'll enter in your email address that you've registered with us and you also need your student code. Now student code is a six digit number that every student gets assigned here at CV when they enrol. So if you're a new um, student this year in 2019 the student number would start with one nine generally be zero and then um, three other numbers after that. If you don't know what um, your son or daughter student code is, again, you can ring the front office or you can ask them. It's on their ID card and it's also, um, they can see it through DayMap as well if they've got access. But again, if you don't know, um, ask the front office. Once you've entered in your email address and your student code, click on reset password. That will send a link to your um, email. You click on that link and that will allow you to um, log into, it'll give you your username and your password and that'll allow you to log into DayMap Parent Portal for the first time. I'll then show you in the portal how you reset your password to something more uh, user friendly there as well. So assuming you've done all of that, uh, you'll be taken through to the landing page of the parent portal, which will look like this. So here in the landing page for the parent portal, you can see um, straight away we've got a wealth of information that you can access. Over here on the right, you'll see the, um, what we call the portfolios for any of your children that you have here at CV High School. Uh, I'm very kindly using one of our current parents at the school and they have two children here. Uh, one of them, uh, this student here is in year 10, okay, and they say we've got the um, ID photo here and we've got some NAPLAN results here for them as well through year 7 and year 9. This is a new year 8 student this year, um, so obviously the ID photos haven't been imported and also the um, NAPLAN data will be imported shortly as well once we've collected that from all the schools. So this is where you'll see, uh, if you've got obviously three children, they'll have more down here. If you've only got the one child, there'll only be the one um, picture or portfolio up here. On the landing page, you can see here we've got all this information. These are the recent messages that the school has sent out. So any of the SMSs um, that are, have gone out to the school, um, you'll see them in here. And also um, any of the um, bulletins that the teachers send out to the school as well. Um, they will um, be seen in here as well. So it's a really good place to start just for our current information on the school. Okay. Over here on the side, we've got a couple of different places that we're going to explore in a minute. Okay. Um, but at any time, if you want to get back to this initial landing page, there's a little house up the top here which says My Portal. Click on that and it will bring you back here. Now, first place I'm going to take you to is this one here about My Messages. My Messages is really useful. Um, here it allows you to send and receive text messages. So here we bring to this um, section about the messages and um, here again you can just see those messages we saw on the front page but over here we've got the option to send a message. Uh, so anytime you hover over any of these links in DayMap you'll see what they do. So this one says uh, send a message um, a new message to a person or a list of people. So in this case here if you want to send a message to one of your um, 
children's pictures, you click on this new message. Now it'll come up with an option to either send an absence notification or send a message to the teacher. So if um, you don't have the ability to ring the school um, and let them know that your son or daughter is away, if you're in a meeting or something like that, you can jump on the parent portal and send an absence notification. I would still recommend that the best thing to do would be to um, hopefully ring the front office and just let us know in person. But you can do it through the portal if you want. Here you can send a message to a teacher. So this is what we're going to choose. And Daymap uses predictive texting. So what that means is that you just need to know the um, first couple of bits of the name of the teacher to enable you to uh, send a message to them. So if you wanted to send them to me, Bill Stapleton, uh, you kind of remember ST, you're trying to guess. Um, there we go, Stapleton, there we go. And you'll see there it is there. If you wanted to send a message to multiple teachers, you could. So if you know the names of all the um, teachers of your son or daughter, you can put them in here. So let's say, for example, that Jeremy Lacornu was one of the teachers as well. So it was Rogan Tinsley and also Carol Davey. Okay. Um, so all of those are the admin team here at the school and the exec team. So if you wanted to send a message to those people, you would type your message in here. Type message here. Okay. And... I'm just going to do this so you can see what happens. So we're going to type the message in here to the teachers that you want to do. If there's something you want to attach, you click on this button to go add attachment. Okay. You can then browse here to add an attachment in. Okay. Or if there's a particular website for some reason that you wanted them to have a look at, you can do that here as well. What you have to do is click apply. Okay. And then it would go to that um, add on to the message. I'm not going to send that message at the moment though, but that's how you send a message to any of the teachers and you only need to know the first couple of bits of their names. If you don't know their names, um, there's an easy way to actually have a look at that, which is the next part, which I'll show you. Um, but I just want to encourage you that this messaging system in Daymap is a really, really useful source of information for you and be able to communicate with teachers. And um, it's a really good way that you can partner with us to keep up to date. So I encourage you, please jump on uh, message the teachers of your child, keep in touch with them, uh, especially if there's any information that you really need them to know. But as I said, if you want to actually know um, what are the names of your son or daughter's teachers are, you'll be able to find that in the um, student portfolio, which I'll show you in a minute. But just looking at some of the other parts here on the landing page, my calendar uh, is probably not going to be used very much at the moment uh, because we use school bag a lot more. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put up the logo for school bag now and encourage you if you haven't downloaded that yet for CV High School to do that. There is also an instruction sheet on our school website around how to access school bag. Um, so I encourage you to um, go to the website and have a look at that as well. The bulletin is just exactly what you see on that front page. Um, so again, there's not going to be too much more information here. Uh, the newsletters we're not using through here, nor parent notices or sport bulletins. So about the only thing you need to use on this front page here because school bag has a much better um, capability for us to be able to send push notifications to parents. We prefer to use that for our um, general communication with you, which is why we don't have the newsletters or sports bulletins through here. Um, school bag would be a better option because you can download any forms associated with it. So about the only point you want to use here is the my account. So when you click on my account, you'll see all your account information here. I've obviously blurred out the parents information on here, um, but you can check that this is all correct, your mobile number, your um, address, everything like that. If any of this is incorrect, please call the school on 8377-8000 to report it. And down the bottom here, as I said, click here to re change your password. This is a really good point to go um, if you do want to reset it from the initial password that Daymap has sent you. I suggest every parent does that first time you log into the account. So that's the landing page. I'm just going to click on my portal up here to go back to the initial home page. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here and choose this first year 10 student and show you what we can see in the account settings for their portfolio. So all you have to do, you notice when I go over the top, it changes colour anywhere I'm going. So here I just need to click anywhere for this student and it takes me to the student landing page instead. And this is a little bit different, but this, this is a really good spot for you to start in terms of an overview for everything you could possibly really want to know for your son or daughter here at the school. So over here, this student activity is purely reserved at the moment for their reports. So you can see this student has reports going back to semester one, 2017 there, and there are actually a few lower down as well. And you can see all the different reports for last year as well. So if you need an electronic copy of a report, you can just come here, click on the PDF, download it, and you've got that report straight away. 
Uh, we're trying to obviously be very environmentally conscious here at CV, so we're not printing reports anymore. You can request a re printed report if you want, but the best way to do it is just grab it here through um, the parent portal, and that is available immediately. You don't have to wait for it to be printed once they're generated. Over here on the right, what we can see is that these are all the tasks that have been set so far for the year. And uh, you can probably straight away your um, eyes are drawn to the red one here, which is saying it is overdue work has not been received. Okay. Um, so this is a really good opportunity for you to um, start developing conversations with your son or daughter around uh, what's happening here at school. And when you see some one of these red tasks saying overdue, it's a good opportunity to chat with them and say, hey, have you finished that um, thing here for Media Arts with Mr. Perry, um, the DSLR filming checkpoint, have you finished it? And they might say, yes, I have, I've handed it up separately, or no, I still need to do it. It gives you an opportunity. You could always contact the teacher to find out how you could support uh, your son or daughter to get that work completed as well. Um, sometimes it might be that the student has handed the work in separately to the teacher and the teacher has a ticked little box. So just an email, as a day map message will help you find that out. But here you can see all the different tasks that they currently have. Okay, down the bottom there's some information about upcoming events. I'm not going to show you too much about that because there's a much better way to have a look at these over on the side. Okay, so in calendar, if you click on that one, this now shows you um, all the different things that's happening for the week. This shows both the lessons, which are these yellow ones, and the tasks along the top, which are purple. So you can toggle these on or off if you want. Okay, and you can see, you can just see the different classes they have. You can put the tasks back on as well to see what's happening and when everything is due. All of these, you can see, are due next week because the arrows go over. If you go forward to the next week, you can see that this one here finishes the arrow finishes on the Thursday, which is when that 10 media assignment is due. So it helps you give a bit of an overview of planning your time. All right, these lessons down here, and um, you can see these are actually the lessons of the day. There's an easy way to see what's happening, and that's actually in the next one, which is this week, which gives you an overview of um, the week that your son or daughter will see. And this is what their normal timetable looks like. Here you can see that the attendance is updated. So it's currently 2.11 p.m. on a Monday afternoon, which is in the middle of lesson six. You can see the attendance has been marked by the teacher here. If you hover over it, you can see the name of the teacher and where it is as well. So this is the personal learning plan in PB2 with Mr. Diasinus. Okay, and you can see as the blue tick here, they've been marked as present. So down the bottom here, this is what you want to have a look at and keep an eye on. Okay, and it's really, again, anything with a red on it that you want to um, really have a look at. If there is a red X on there, that means that um, the student has been absent unexplained for a one or more lessons in that day. If you see a blue X, it means that um, we know why they're away. Normally it's because we've received a phone call from you. Um, but if there's a red X there, um, that's where we really ask that you would contact the school, let us know the reason why your son or daughter is away, and um, then we can update that accordingly. Normally it will go from a red X to then a blue X. Okay. Uh, you can scroll back through previous weeks and here you'll see the attendance this student was here for the entire week last week but it gives you an overview so you can actually check this it is updated in real time so um, straight away you can see um, if they've been going into their lesson or not and if for example if you notice a pattern where your son or daughter is saying oh, I really don't want to go to school on a Tuesday you can have a look and see okay is it because they've got photography every Tuesday is that the reason they're not wanting to go um, it gives you a good opportunity again to have those conversations um, one of the other ways you can check that is through attendance here. You can see in attendance, we've got each of the lessons that this student is in, okay, and you can see their percentage. So really good attendance for this year 10 student at the moment, which is what you expect. It's only um, the start of week four, okay, but you'll see here if there's any unapproved ones. And actually up the top here, you can also have a look, and if there's any boxes here with a red on it, okay, you'll be able to see that there's an unapproved absence. You'll see that these ones here have a brown colour. That means there's an approved absence. Okay, and that was actually right at the start of term. These lessons were cancelled, which is why there's an approved absence there. Okay, so um, this is a really easy way to check. So hover over a box if, the, if it's red and you'll see for whatever reason they've been away that day. Very, very useful. Under assessment, you can again see here um, the different options that you've got here with each of the tasks that they've got here. You can see um, week three, week two, week four, when it was set. Um, you can see if it has not been received yet. You can see um, these ones here is not been received, but it's not due yet, which is okay. Um, so again, you can get a bit of an oversight here of each of the different tasks that your son or daughter has to do.
What you can do is filter if you want. So if you're concerned purely about their English, you can just select English and you can see that there's currently two tasks of English that they need to do. Or if you want to have a look to see if there's anything, for example, for um, mathematics, again, you can just have a look and see what tasks there are to do. So this is a really good way for you to uh, have a look and see what your son or daughter needs to do. And again, um, use this as maybe a starting point um, for a conversation with their teacher. The schedule here. Again, just shows uh, I'm only on mathematics at the moment, so I'll go back to all classes. So this again shows when each of the tasks are. If you hover over it, you'll actually be able to see each of the different tasks. Okay, um, and so this allows you to do things like plan family holidays. If you're going to be going away for a weekend or for a prolonged period of time, you'll be able to start having a look forward and checking see what your son or daughter has due and when. These are actually interactive as well. So if you click on it, it will actually open up the task. And you can see here, you can actually download the assessment task um, for this assignment as well. So if um, your son or daughter says, oh, I don't know what I need to do, or I don't have a copy of the assignment, you can jump here onto the parent portal and you can have a look at the assignment straight away. All you've got to do is just click on it to see um, if there's any work and what um, happens with it. All right, so you can see here, here's the drugs and alcohol assignment there that they'll be working on in HMPE. Okay. When there are results published, it will come in here. So, so far nothing has been published at the moment because we're only in week four, but pretty soon you'll see the tasks with the results published here as well. The outline here allows you to see um, what's happening for each subject across the course of the year. So if you really wanted to know just what's happening in mathematics, you can see here that there's got a flag assignment, which is due in week four. They've got a linear test in week seven. Okay, an AFL folio in week one of next term. All right, so you can see just for a particular subject exactly what they're looking at as well. So this assessment tab is really, really useful for you as a parent to be able to have a look and help your son or daughter. This report section here just covers all those reports again as well. And then the My Accounts section at the bottom is again just the same as on that landing page where you have a look at um, your account details and be able to reset your password as well. So at any point, if you want to go back to the initial landing page, again, click on My Portal, and this will take you back to this first page. What I encourage you to do really is to just have a play um, with the parent portal, do as much as you can. You're not going to break it. Click on everything, explore, see what you can find out there. So really the main points you're going to use this for are the messaging over here, the messaging of the teachers, and looking at your son or daughter's portfolio over here to track their attendance and also their assessment. As always, if there are any questions, I really encourage you to contact me. I'll put my email up on the screen now where you can contact me. Um, and I really encourage you um, to be as involved as you can uh, in the life of your son or daughter here at CB High School. And uh, we really look forward to them having a productive time here at the school. Thank you for your time. And uh, if there are any questions, just email me. Bye.